Santiago, thank you for joining us for this interview. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. You're welcome. Santiago is a, uh, a Jesuit in formation, uh, and uh, I believe you're with the Jesuits of English Canada? Yep, that's right. We are for the governance of the society where we're divided in provinces. And so in Canada, we have two provinces, French Canada and English Canada, and I'm part of English Canada. Okay, and, and you're just in, uh, let's see, your fourth year you mentioned in formation. So um, where is that in, in the bigger picture of becoming a Jesuit? Within the process of formation, we have two years of novitiate, and at the end of those two years, we take uh, perpetual vows. So I did that a uh, year and a half ago. Now I'm on my fourth year, which means I'm in my second year of first studies, which is a period of studies of philosophy and a way of reflection and helping us prepare for theology. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, this will follow, uh, you'll be followed by some active ministry, which we call Regency. Okay, what would some of that active ministry look like? At this point, it's going to be a young adult ministry, mostly parish missions for young adults throughout Canada. So there will be a few of us touring from Vancouver all the way to Halifax and working with young adults. Oh wow, do you do, you do give retreats or do you do uh, some preaching? And We do a little bit of preaching, we do a retreat uh, as well. Mostly we have evenings of um, social activities, different talks and adoration. And it's just an opportunity for young adults to come to know um, the spiritual exercises and the rules for the sermon, and a way for them to come to have an experience of Ignatian contemplation and prayer. So I'm curious to know, I think along with others, how did you come to know that this vocation may be for you? I think at some point over the years I started to discern um, and you know the call to, to do something else for the people of God. And the word or the phrase that really stayed with me was to become a man for others, mm -hmm. someone who gives on himself very much in the steps of what Christ did for us. And I think that within the process of my discernment, it's coming to realize how God was present in my life and how I could discover Him allowed me to see that I could help others to recognize the many graces and the many gifts that the Lord gives us on a daily basis. And that's what called me to, to become really a companion of Jesus, a Jesuit. Oh, well, uh, you know, there's a lot of people looking to become, um, you know, a, a particular vocation and they're looking to discover uh, what that may be for them. Can you offer them some advice, you know, along the way that, that may be of assistance as they discover God's dream for them? I think that every single one of us uh, desires to fall in love. So the one thing that I would say to everyone, to young people and those who are not that young anymore, is fall in love with Christ. You know, when we're falling in love with somebody, you want to spend time with them. So spend time with Christ in prayer, celebrating the sacraments, spend time with people of God, caring for one another. And I think in those ways we'll be able to discover who God wants us to be, and we'll be able to, you know, give something to the people of God. So fall in love with Christ. Well, thank you very much, Santiago, for uh, taking some time out to do this interview and for helping others uh, to discover their vocation. Thank, thank you. you very much.